Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the season, it's finally here. Happy 1st of December. This is just a quick message on my channel, just to capture it being the 1st of December. I can't believe it that the season is finally steadily upon us. I know a lot of people will think that they haven't even started Christmas, but for me, I've been preparing Christmas for quite a long time and all of my subscribers will know that Christmas is one of my ultimate favourite times of the year. It means so much to me in terms of my faith, in terms of my family, my loved ones, my nan, my mum, my dad, have the which way around you want to do that, all at my parent table, my family, my brothers, my nieces and nephews, all of us coming together. Uh, it really is a truly, truly magical time. I love Christmas. I really am. It work, um, and I work in I work in finance, it's better to say by trade, I'm an accountant, and uh, everybody calls me uh, Mr. Christmas around this time of year. So I thought it was quite cool, and I've had that for the last couple of years. But I really just wanted to capture that it's been a very... It's been, there's been so many good things and very, very many positive things uh, happen this year. And we've had some fantastic times and I've had some amazing accomplishments um, and I've celebrated some amazing things go on this year. It's been a really fantastic year. It has also had, uh, it started off with a real worrying time. My mum went through really major surgery and I'm so, so pleased to say that she is incredibly well now and she's through all of that. Um, it breaks my heart every day that my dear Nan isn't here with me. Uh, she is up above, and I and she's with me always, and I and she's watching over me, and uh, she's with me always, as I say. And um, as I say, my faith means so much to me in this life, and Christmas just so perfectly and so beautifully just brings everybody together and sharing special times and uh, just opening our hearts a little bit more around this time of the year. I mean, we should be good always, and we should love one another, and we should take care of one another, even if we don't know people. We should always go out of our way to help and make change and, and add and try and improve this fallen world we all live in. And Christmas time, just so beautifully, uh, really does just symbolize all of those wonderful things that there is so many even in the darkest of times, there is light. And it's that celebration, of course, of our Lord and uh, and of all all those great things uh, which that which that symbolizes, which he gave us. And of course, life and uh, just that that continuous knowledge that he's always with us in that even in the darkest of times, these storms pass and we get through it. And we should celebrate all of this, that he died for us. And of course, the celebration of his birth on this time. And I just I, I do well up at Christmas. I really, really do um, that just so much. When I hear the carols and, and the gifts and the Christmas shopping and the preparations, and we always do Christmas big in my family, but it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be expensive. It just means so very, very much to be with those who you love and who you adore and, and who you cherish. And even if you have very little, you can still be rich, even if you do not have very much at all. You can be rich in love. You can be rich in spirit. You can be all of those wonderful, great things. If you have love and if you have your, your nearest and dearest around you, then you have everything because gifts and things are wonderful. Yes, absolutely. But when you have those who you love the most around you, everything's always going to be all right. It really, truly is. And Christmas just so, for me, so magically sort of frames that how we should live our lives as we feel at Christmas, that, that sort of warm fuzziness as the Christmas magic sets in throughout December. And of course, as we approach the Christmas season, everybody seems to have a bit of a lifted spirit. Everybody seems to have a little bit more extra time for everyone. People seem to be more courteous. People seem to be more understanding, more loving, more caring, more giving. Most, of course. And as I say, we celebrate in, in faith, of course, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and all of what he gave us, all of what he done for us. And whether that be past, present or future sin, that he resolved all of that. And for us, that all he asks is to love him and to love one another and to, of course, lead a good life. And it's important. I'm no saint. I'm not saying that at all. It's important to lead a good life, a fulfilling life and write your book how you wish to read it in terms of your life. That is, of course, have fun. Don't tie yourself to old historic sort of ways of life, of what we should do, what we shouldn't do. Don't do this, don't do that. Lead a good life, be considerate, be helpful, be loving. Add, and if you can make a difference and if you can give this Christmas season, uh, doesn't even mean monetary value. If you can give even your time. I always say, if you haven't got anything, you've still got something to give. A pair of ears which can listen, a heart which you can open. Okay, on that note, the Christmas season, 
hopefully I've got it across to you, is so magical, so spiritual, and means so much, um, and I love it, I absolutely do. So with my nanny up above, bless her heart, my mum and my dad around me, my brothers, my nieces and nephews, my sister-in-law, my brother's fiancé, Christmas is going to be amazing. I've got a huge, big family. Um, so we always try to, uh, I don't see a lot of them, but we do come together as a family. And uh, that's happening on Christmas Eve. I think my mum is hosting that this year. Uh, I think my sister and my brother are going to be hosting over Christmas as well. The gift shopping is going really well. That's all done. All the preparations are done, but the wrapping, not quite yet. So I'm going to be off. Let's celebrate this 1st of December. It is, which is really, really nice for Friday. I'm just going to be spending that with my mum and my dad and my brother. We're going to be getting uh, some uh, some takeaway food. We're going to be having a few drinks, uh, having a chat, putting the world to rights, uh, watching a few films, just really celebrating the start of the season. On that note, have a really lovely, great weekend. I wish you a very, very happy festive season to come and a Christmas season. And I wish you good health. I wish you good will. And I wish you all the love in the world and just have an amazing time. Relax. And remember, don't stress too much this season. And hold on to it because it goes so so quickly. Embrace it, hold on to it, and absolutely love it. God bless and take great care, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.